Okay guys, uh, so this is uh, ridiculous, but I guess third time's the charm. Uh, somebody else told me that actually A and B is actually on the, the right side instead of the left side. It, to me, it makes sense to, that it's left to right, but I guess if you're Japanese, it might be right to left. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so I did move the uh, uh, two sticks around on the, I guess, A1 and then B1. Uh, and I wish they were color coordinated, but the motherboard is actually is, is all black as far as the um, the, uh, the RAM slot is concerned. So I'm going to turn on the light to show you. Um, okay, so the uh, water pipe, I, I put a, a zip tied on the uh, thing to pull it away from the RAM because it was actually touching the uh, the most left side of the RAM. Now you can see a little clearance room. I put it against the, this little uh, fan hole right here and the fan looks pretty sturdy so I, I hope uh, it doesn't cause any issues or anything like that. Uh, as you can see it's still not it's not touching the fan so it's uh, I think it should be fine. Um, uh, it does leave a little uh, kind of like a tension here to pull it back. But I don't know what else I can do to to move the uh, these pipes away from the, the RAM. But that's like my solution. Um, but yeah, so if you're in the same boat, um, I guess I, I get a zip tie and just pull it uh, to, to the left there. And like I said, once again, there's no other latches around that I can, um, you know, uh, move uh, to to hold the, uh, the those pipes away. Uh, anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, computer still boots up just fine. I mean, it, I don't think it really matters uh, where the RAM sticks are, uh, especially if they're just single side. I think if it's a dual channel, it might actually has to make a difference because it has to read A and then and then B as well, and it has to be in in a sequence to both. But I think with these these single channel, I think it's just fine. I think you can just put it in anywhere and it'll work. Um, Anyway, these are also DDC, DDR4 uh, um, RAM, and that's important because DDR4 doesn't fit with DDR3. So you got to make sure if your um, your motherboard supports uh, DDR4 or, or or DDR3 or DDR2, etc. So make sure that you know what RAM to get for your computer. Like I said, eventually, I think by next week, I'm going to actually get the same two sticks of RAM, uh, two additional sticks of RAM, then stick in all four to, to match the, the color. Right now, two is fine, but I like to see all four and then have that light up. But that's going to be done next week when I have a little time to go micro center to pick this up. Anyway, thanks for watching.